Good evening, everyone. We are here to have the con contest for impromptu speech with our batch number two, with our contestants, Anika, Anaya, and Omika. So it's good to have you here, children, as well as the parents who have joined us. I request uh, Anika to start with the flow of the contest. Over to you, Anika. Thank you. A very good morning, everyone. My name is Anika Astana, and I study in grade six. As the MC of today's event, I am so pleased to welcome you all to our club contest. How many of you get butterflies in your tummy each time you're called on stage to speak? Raise your hand. Well, I too feel the same and I'm still getting it. Today's contest is gonna let these butterflies fly out of your tummy because you're gonna be showcasing your skills in an impromptu speech. So friends, get ready to be put on the spot. It is a very special eve evening indeed because we have among us a very special guest who will be judging the performance. Let me invite Anaya to deliver the welcome speech. Good evening, one and all. My name is Anaya, and I'm so pleased to welcome our judge for today's event. Even. Let me read a brief introduction about her. Ms. Taranam Sheikh has been an educationist in the Middle East for over 10 years with a master's degree in English literature and soft skills certification from a recognized institution. She made the transition from teaching to entrepreneurship in the year 2020. As the founder of Active Kids Online Academy, she is also a Toastmaster since seven years. She is a dedicated, resourceful, and goal-driven professional educator. Her vision is to help every child in articulating their inner genius. Welcome, ma'am. Okay, so are we good to go? Yes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yes, yes. ma'am. Uh, Mr. Rannum, it's uh, our pleasure to have you here to judge these lovely children today regarding their impromptu speech. We have with us contestant number one, Anika. Ma'am, if you could allow me to say a few words, then sure. I'd like to share. Sure, sure ma'am. Thank you very much. Right. So firstly, a very, very warm welcome to my lovely trios. Okay. The... <laughs> One and only Anika, Anaya, and Omeka. I think we had a couple of conversations before in during the class. And uh, I did know that you all are a bunch of talent. And you all have great ideas. You are all very imaginative. You're all very focused and confident too. All you needed is some hack. Yes, you get it right. It's the hacks, communication hacks on how to get your ideas right, how to be more persuasive, how to amplify the best parts of you, how to influence the audience. Everybody can speak. We all are coming from maybe, you know, where our second language is English. For some, it's the first language as well. And we have some background of speaking in English, but speaking in English does not come free with confidence okay it's not like okay you can speak in english that means you're a confident child you need to alter a lot of new skills to up level your communication skills okay it's not just about talking in english but it is about how you can be able to influence the audience how you can be that engaging speaker which everyone in the audience love to listen to right so all these little hacks and you know things which will help you to become a better speaker and better leader is one spot here which is you know inactive kids that we have designed the curriculum for you all you know we have customized made it simpler fun engaging exciting all the fun elements to for you so that you can up level your skills Okay, and I'm so happy that we've come, our efforts have come to fruition and we have come to our first showcase today here, which I'm going to witness and I'm really excited 
So going back to 2022, when we when we I wanted I designed this curriculum along with my team for you all, and now I can see the whole thing has been executed, and the kids are ready, charged up, geared up to show their best self, right? So I am more than excited, okay to see you all and judge you all. Of course, it's the most difficult and boring thing to judge. But yes, I am given this honor to be a judge for you, amidst you. Let me also, also tell you some criteria which is kept in mind for the judging criteria for this contest. So the judging criteria is for, for the first one is the content. Content is nothing but the topic, what you get, how relevant is your speech to the topic. So listen to the topic carefully. The second aspect is voice and articulation. Girls, try, you must use your vocal power, your voice, the most powerful tool we have with us. Okay. And it's, 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 it's like, you know, a, an instrument that we have and we must learn how to play it well. So play your instrument well. Be vocal, be loud, be clear, use modulation. Okay. That's your second aspect. And the third aspect is your delivery. The body language, which all you've learned, which ma'am has taught you, your eye contact aspect, your gestures, okay, your movement, all of this would, would be marked as well. From today's contest, I'd like to pick the first position winner. Now, again, winner doesn't mean the person, someone superior and others are inferior. It just means someone has practiced more than others. Someone has made more mistakes in the class than others and has learned to be there, right? So it's not about winning, someone's losing, someone's winning. It's about someone has practiced more and has gotten better understanding of it and has climbed the ladder, okay? And for some, we need to practice more. It's all about practicing. Hmm? So yes, so to, from today's contest, I'd like to have first position winner. In case of a tie, we go with a first runners up which is the second position okay so that's how we are going to be having uh the contest today i would just like to say all the very best don't worry about making mistakes because if you're going to just have that i should not make mistakes then you're never going to learn so it's fine come to the stage have fun Tell your message. Imagine the audience is going to lend their ears to you for two minutes, 30 seconds. There is nobody who's going to talk, stop you from talking. Imagine at home, your mama doesn't listen to you, right? Anika, somebody interrupts you when you're speaking. <laughs> Maybe your sister. Umika, I'm sure someone must be interrupting you. But in this contest, no one's going to do that. Everyone's going to lend their ears to you. So you have the power. To convince somebody, to influence somebody, to give your give a message through your speech. Okay. And I think that power you have today, show your power when you're on stage and have fun. Okay. So on that note, I'd like to give, give it back to Miss um, Hema to continue the proceedings. Thank you so, so much, uh, ma'am. Uh, so let's start with our contest. And uh, we start with contestant number one. Anika, it's a great day today. It's a great day today. Uh, Ma'am, she isn't standing. You're on mute, Anika. Uh, yeah, we Anika, standing uh, please. Up, so please check that out. It's a great day today. It's a great day today. Check. Over to you, Mr. Arnum. Okay. Yeah. Can we spotlight her? Yes. Okay. All right, Anika. I'm going to repeat the topic twice. And then once I say over to you, you can take 10 seconds and then begin your speech. And ma'am, just to remind you, after every contestant, I need 10 seconds of pause for me to mark every contestant. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. So, contestant number one, Anika Asthana, your topic is the food I could eat forever. The food I could eat forever. Anika Asthana, over to you. Thank you, Mr. Anum. 
Thank you. The food that I could eat forever. That would be pasta. I have many reasons for this. The first one is that it's delicious. I could never get bored of it. The really softness of the pasta and then the amazing, amazing flavor of whichever sauce you can pick. Another reason is it's also very nutritious. If you have red sauce, it uses tomatoes, onions, and many other vegetables. You can have pesto and sometimes even cheese. Pasta can also give you a lot of energy, which can help if you're running races, if you're an athlete, or even if you're doing math. You also need energy when you're using your brain. Pasta is so yummy and has so many different flavors, which means you're not always stuck with the same thing. I remember a time when I wanted to eat pasta for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But obviously, well, if you have the choice, you're not going to eat pasta for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Pasta is also amazing because sometimes you never, like sometimes if you're eating pancakes, it's very sweet and you can get like really tired of it because it can be really heavy. But pasta, it's really light, but it's also really nutritious, and it's also really um, and it, it helps you get energy. Pasta is great for when you're cooking it in big batches. You can feed loads of people with pasta, and it's really easy to make. You put it in some hot water, and it starts to boil. You can make a sauce and then just add it in. There are many reasons why I like pasta, and I have shared them with you. What is your favorite food that you could eat for so many days, maybe even forever? Thank you. Thank you, Anika. We give 10 seconds to Ms. Tarannam to mark you. Yes, we proceed. Yes. Okay, uh, that was a lovely speech by you, Anika. We move on to contestant number two. Contestant number two, Anaya. Are you ready? Yeah. Ma'am, kindly change the spotlight. Uh, it's not possible from my end. Um, she's Are you ready? Anaya. Anaya, please, please. please stand up. Anaya, that's not quite a good position because you're resting yourself on something. So just come in the center where there is no furniture for you to lean on. No, not, not that great. Your hand, one hand is not that visible. Can we just shift uh, a little more, Anaya, a little more? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. A little more. One hand is not visible for me. Yeah. No, don't lean on any furniture. Okay, be away. Okay. okay. Yeah. Contestant number two, Anaya. It's a great day today. It's a great day today. Check. Over to you, Mr. Annam. Anaya, your topic is the most favorite person in my life. The most favorite person in my life. Anaya, 
Over to you. The most favorite person in my life is my mom. She take care. She takes care of me and gives me food and everything I need. She helps me in growing and also takes care of me a lot. I love her. She provides me with everything I need. She gives me food, she gives me water, she gives me whatever I need to grow. She also, I also love hanging out with her, like watching a movie or going out with her or going to the mall with her, or I can also go to the beach with her. I love spending time with her. It's really fun. She, she also tells me about when she was small and she also tells me about like what she used to do when she was small. I love her a lot. She is my favorite person. She she is really nice and is really kind. She is my favorite and she also takes care of me a lot. I also love her because she is really caring and loves me. She is my mother and I go to the mall with her and everything. I do everything with her. I share all my secrets with her. I also go to the beach. We also go to a park. And when I was small, I used to go to the park a lot. So you sh so she used to carry me in a stroller. And we would go to the park and have a great time. We would look at the fishes in the pond. We would ride on the swings. We would also look at the fountain and make wishes. In the mall, we would buy loads of clothes. We would go to the game zones and play so many games. It's so much fun. It's so fun to spend time with her. In the beach, we would feed the fishes and see new creatures. That's why she is the she's my favorite person. Thank you. Thank you, Anaya. We give 10 seconds to Mr. Rangam to mark you. Yes, we proceed. Thank you, Mr. Rannu. Uh, contestant number three, Omega, are you ready? Are you ready, Omika? Yes. Yes. Yes, we're ready. Great. Okay. It's a great day today. Repeat the phrase. It's, it's a, a great, great day. day today. Uh, your video is glitching. Just a moment. Your video is glitching. Uh, let's try once again. It's a great day today. I think yours is. Yours is also, it's a great day today. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lanno, <coughs> is video okay? No, it's not uh, clear. Yeah. It's, can you try again, Omeka? Don't come forward to say your phrase. Stand there only and repeat, okay? Yeah. It's a great day today. It's much better. Now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Shay. Over to you, Mr. Rannam. Thank you. Omika, your topic yeah. is if you would be an animal, you would be. If you would be an animal, you would be. Over to you. If I was an animal, I would probably be, let's say, a tiger. I'll give you some reasons behind this. 
First of all, tigers are really fast when it comes to catching their prey. They have really sharp claws that that it can go that whenever they attack their prey, it goes into their flesh. So then flesh um so it doesn't run away. It catches it so tightly that it that the that the prey gas out gas gas out of breath and it and it suddenly collapses. Second second of all. Tigers uh, have really strong sense of smell. It can see anything from a mile away. It has it ha and say for example, whatever. It, even if it's a, like a small sound, he he could hear it in a small. Even if it's like this this. This small how he could hear. As long if you if you if you're easy going with them, you can you you can be friends with them. They 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 easily like they you can easily tame them as long if you don't like mess with them. And last of all, the la the last of all. Tigers are really beautiful because they have orange, black, and white striped colors, and it look and it looks and it looks so beautiful whenever they're in the safari or in the wild. They and and they also and their eyes are also really good. Their eyes are really like clear. Even their eyes have also their eye color. I mean, has has a really pretty like eye color, like for blue, green, brown, like any color. Their their tiger's eyes look really pretty. And also, there's a fact. Did you know that that even during nighttime, um, a tiger's vision, tiger, a tiger's even have like a night vision. So whenever there's a prey, whenever he, they're hungry, they can they can um get their prey within seconds or. Maybe even minutes because they may have to find where their prey is. So that's why I really like to become a tiger in in my next life. What do you want to be when you're? What do you? What type of animal do you want to be in your next life? Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Omeka. We give ten seconds for Mr. Anu to mark you. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am, we are done. What's next? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, let's uh, meet our parent. Hello. Good evening, Miss Pooja. Hello, ma'am. How are you? How are, How is everyone doing? <laughs> uh, everything is good. Yes, contestants. Uh, how did you like, uh, ma'am? How did they go about it? Oh, I um, thoroughly... It was really nice. Huh? <laughs> it's really nice. Yes. It's really... Yes, Ms. Yeah. Uh, no, I've been listening to all the contestants. Wonderful. Uh, very articulate. I enjoyed their uh, thought process. How they connected one idea to the other. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it can it can get as as you asked, Anika? Does it give you butterflies in your stomach? Yes, it does. Even <laughs> at my stage and age in life, we still get cold feet when we have to speak about something that we are hearing probably for the first time. Uh, <laughs> so I enjoyed how you all connected your thoughts and how you presented yourself. Very confident. And I'm sure this is the beginning and you all are on such great path already. 
Yeah. Okay. So, Miss uh, Pooja, what do you think if you were in Anika's place? <laughs> what do you think you would do? <laughs> um. Yeah, I would just go on eating pasta morning, afternoon, dinner. <laughs> your, uh, your thoughts were very convincing. But uh, I don't think, uh, as a mother, I'll be convinced. But <laughs> uh, definitely very good try. Uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm really uh, surprised and impressed by the conviction with, all, with which all three of you spoke. So not only... I think Anaya and Omega did a wonderful job in, uh, you know, convincing uh, if they have to be a tiger or if, you know, uh, how <laughs> I, 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 if your mother would have been here, uh, Anaya, she would have been flattered. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Miss uh, Pooja for your uh, observations. I'm sure the children will be happy to hear all such good things about them. And yes, they did a wonderful job. All three of them did a wonderful job. Yes. Okay. Yes, Ms. Tarannam. Is it my turn to speak? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> right. Um. I think I'm in awe of all the three contestants and what they spoke on this platform. It's unstructured speech, unrehearsed, unscripted speech is not easy to do. It can give, you know, it can churn us with anxiety for anyone. Okay, but you aced it. You had clarity. You had cohesion. You had charisma. You had all the C's, all the three C's which you require to be an effective speaker. And I was really, really happy. And my word of gratitude to your teacher, Ms. Hema, for propelling you from point A to point B, if I may say. Yeah, it's not till point Z. You're making small progress. You've made tiny progress. You've reached to a goal where, which we were supposed to be accomplishing. And yes, it has been met very constructively prepared planned i remember when i met anika from the first class when i when i dis, when i spoke to anaya from the first day or maybe it was her second session i remember speaking to anika few umika few sessions ago and now i see how you presented yourself how you used your whole body for communication you know that is you know was the most important factor in your entire speeches, which you were not able to do earlier. You did not know how that it is supposed to be done, right? Or probably you didn't know how import, important or impactful it would be. So now you're able to learn those nuances of communication skills. And this is just the journey. You've already taken the first step, right? So yes, that's about it. Uh, thank you, Ms. Hema, for all your efforts which you have taken to train our lovely girls. And we are waiting for our next showcase very soon. Yes, we are not going to reveal what it would be. Okay, you need to wait and see what ma'am is what ma'am has planned the whole journey for you. Yes, it's just that I got this message in the morning, just wanted to take this minute to share from uh, Anaya's mom that she had a, an impromptu speech in her school. And uh, she just went about and she delivered a very good speech because that she was very happy with herself that she did a good job. So there we feel that was the most rewarding experience and more, very happy message to get, uh, which is, you know, a positive, gives give a very positive feeling about how children are responding to the learning of your class. It's all credit to you, Ms. Hema, right? Yeah, yes, Anaya, so you're doing great. Now try, try and be regular to class. Hmm? You're going to get even better next time. Yes. Coming to the result, children. Again, we don't want to put numbers on everyone. But yes, someone has practiced more, has gained more and has learned more. So we should give them first. And I've decided not to put like just the first place for all the efforts you've shown today. Um, I've decided we'll have first position and there's a tie for the second position. Right. So there's someone who's aced it got in first place and the someone who's the other two have gotten second place so there's no third position today hmm? okay so yes no surprises 
Any guesses? What do you think? Anaya, as I've already told, someone's going to be first position and two of you are going, two of them are going to be second. So who do you think would get first position? Just a random guess. Uh, I think Anika. Why do you say, why do you, why do you say that? Uh, her speech was good and she was not like using filler words in it. Oh, lovely. I love the technical word you used. The filler words. Yes, very nice. Yes, Omeka, what, what about you? What do you think? You can, you can, um, actually, you, you yourself can get the first position. So it's fine. You can choose yourself. Yeah. Um, I would think, I would go for Anika. She, she never used any filler words like, um, and well, well I, which I used. <laughs> I shut a lot. And, and also, Maybe she was like saying it like really nicely, like she was like going like with the ease, with the smooth, and yeah, yeah. Let's ask Anika. Anika, you have got two words. What do you think about your speech? Um, so I think Omeka actually might come first place because her contact, her like um, her speech was actually really interesting. Okay, so the content, what she spoke was, was catchy. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you all are able to evaluate each other's speech says that you actually understand what makes a speech good to great, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's, uh, without further ado, let's go with the second position, two places. So we have second position is none other than mom. My mom is my favorite person in my life. Anaya. <laughs> Congrats, Anaya. Second position. Well done. You could do better, right? And keep practicing this skill. Let's go to another person. So let's now find out. Is it Anika Umika? Wow. Nice rhythm to it, right? So, yes. So the second position is Umika. You want to be a tiger. Roar like a tiger. <laughs> Congratulations. Obika. Lovely. <laughs> and finally, Lovely. Anika grabbed the first position with her speech, the food she would eat forever. Well done, Anika. Excellent job. Keep it up. You have really had an expertise over impromptu speech now. I think now you can start training your sister as well on this. Would you do that? <laughs> No, ma'am, ma'am, mama is oh. saying <laughs> mama is saying no. <laughs> okay, great job. Thank you so much, girls. Um, it's been an honor and congratulations. Your certificates will be sent to you. Come back for the next class. Ma'am is waiting to have some different things for you. Ma'am, do you want to say something? The floor is yours. Uh yeah. <laughs> so Thank you, Ms. Taranum. It was lovely to have you here. And uh, thanks uh, to Anika for taking over the role as the MC and Anaya as the welcome speaker. You all did a great job. Most yeah. of all, thanks to these three children for showcasing themselves. They did a wonderful job. It was really wonderful. We still have to complete the journey, but yes, we have already set in motion. So I'm sure that we are going to do more better and uh, I can see the confidence in all of you. Yes. Okay. And all of you took care of whatever had been shared with you all. And uh, the way you all evaluated each other, oh, wow, that was lovely. That means you all are being very observant. And I'm sure you all are also doing the mirror practice, isn't it? Are you all? Yes, that is why you are able to evaluate. <laughs> Keep it up with that. And I thank uh, Miss Pooja for joining us. Uh, we are so uh, grateful uh, for you to join us today to uh, attend this uh, showcase by our children and uh, encouraging them with your presence. And of course, Ms. Taranum, our head, and she's the bestest of all. And whatever she says, children, please do make a note of it. She has years of experience in the same. So whatever she says, mark it. Okay? Yeah. That's uh, all my yeah, Years of experience 
because there were mistakes i've learned from my mistakes over and over and over again and i'm still learning so that's been the <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you ms ema thank you ms pooja lovely having you i'm sure you you found your some time for you know for this whole contest you stayed thank you very much amit's your busy busy schedule and thank you very much and i'm very happy to see anika evolve yeah but this is just a big name yeah. thank you. thanks thank both you. of you thank you all right children bye everyone uh, bye everyone bye have bye. a great congrats, weekend congrats everybody yeah. bye. bye 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 i'm waiting still okay shall i end the meeting <laughs> yes i'm just still waving okay <laughs> good <laughs> actually you don't want to leave <laughs> did you say thank you to your they teacher they don't want to leave they don't want to leave <laughs> they're not leaving thank you ma'am did you say thank you to your teacher everybody <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Okay. i will <laughs> and did you <laughs> say congratulations to anika Congratulations, Anika! You did good. Congratulations, Anika! Congratulations, Anika and Anaya. That's Thank right. you. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, all right. Me, me, if you could just give me after the the session ends. Yeah, if I just need you for a few minutes. Okay, girls, now you can leave. It's teacher's talks. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 What teacher talks?